under our topic, we also have the period and the volume. Let us start with the volume. By definition, the volume of a digit depends on its position or place in a numeral. Let's say we have a number. Let's say 37643. We're going to find the value of the underlined number. Let's say the underlined number is 7. What is the value of 7 in this number or these digits? So let us recall our place value, the position of the numbers. We have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So the place value is thousands. So that means the value of 7 here is 7,000. Next, let's try another one. Let's say we have 196054. What is the value of the underlying number? Let's say 5. So this is, the place value is 1 stands. So, it is in the tenth place, so our value is 50. Let's say we have 3798542. The underlined number is 3. So, what is the volume? 3. Then... So that is 3 million. So the technique is, in getting the volume of the underlined digit, is that copy the underlined number, then just replace the remaining digit going to write into zeros. 5, copy 5, then change 4 to 0. Then copy 3, then change the remaining numbers to zero. Let's try one more. Let's say I have 49621. The underlined number is 9. So copy 9. That means the volume now is change to zero, 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 zero. That is 9,000. Let's say I have 51624. The underlined number is 4. So that is in the 1's place. So the value is 4. So that is on how to get the value of the number in our place volume. Did you know that our digits are grouped into periods? Yeah, a period, by definition, a period is consists of three place values or digits. And each period is separated by space or comma. That's why if you're going to write digits, let's say we have three. It is separated by a space or a comma. So it is by three. So ones, tens, hundreds. Thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousands. So if we're going to recall our place value, since the period is grouped into three, so the first in line in our place value is called under the unit period or the units period. The next three will be in the thousands period and the remain and the other three going to the left will be the millions period so let's try some exercises or some examples let's say i have here five Eight zero one seven two eight. 
find the period of the underlined number. The underlined number is 8. So let us find first the place volume. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and thousands, hundred thousands. So the period of the underlined number is 100,000 is in thousands. Let's have 7694001. And the underlined number is 1. So what is the period? Once, so the periods of ones is in the units. So that is on how to find the period. Again, uh, each period is separated by a space or a comma. And now, let us check your understanding. I have exercises here in our board, and the instruction is determine the value and period of the underlined digit. So we have exercises number one, two, and three. Let's try to solve number one. Four, zero, one, one, six, two, eight. The underlined digit is four. So let us find the value first. So let us use the shortcut. Copy the underlined digit which is 4 then change all the digits on its right side so 0 0 0 1 2 3 then 0 0 0 what is now the period so separated by a comma or a space so that is in the Millions period. Millions period. Did you get? Now let's try number two. Seven eight nine zero one six. The underlying digit is one. So for the value, copy one, then change to zero. Okay. So the value is ten. Now, what is the period? So, first three, in our place value, the period is units. So, period, units. Okay? Next, 7562301. And the underlined digit is 3. So, the value is copy the underlined digit 3 then 0 0 now what is the period so first 3 is the units period did you get it uh, are we clear now now it's time for you to solve your exercises this will be your exercises determine the volume and period of the underlined digit so we have one, two, three, four. After answering, I want you to let your mom and dad to check your work. And after checking, please try to answer all the exercises in your module or in your handbooks. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe in our channel.